Hello, this is Ruth and I'm back again with a second project made with the Magical Music Box die set from Tomic. Now, if you haven't already seen the, where I've made this beautiful music box with a lovely little ballerina inside, you can check out the other video for that and the link will be in the description down below this one. But this is a really, really beautiful project. I'm not even going to open this up here to let you see. You'll have to go and have a look at the other one because I want to keep my bow nice and tidy. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and that way you'll be able to keep up to date with lots and lots of different things that are coming up. But that one in particular I think you'll really like. But I thought I'd come back and show you a second thing that you can make with that. I've looked through the die set and obviously there are lots and lots of things that you could do with all of those dies. I've taken an A6 card and if you use this die which cuts out the curtains you can see that the only cutting edge on that is actually this part here which makes a really lovely aperture on your card. So remember to have it the right way up because that's very very easy to forget and just pop it onto your card. Make sure the card is opened out when you're putting it through your die cutting machine. Just put a little bit of tape on top and bottom, hold it on there and whenever you lift that off after you've die cut it, you'll find you've got a beautiful aperture there. Now that means that you can go ahead and add lovely curtains on there and I'm going to make them in pink. So first of all, I have used the same die and then I've used the outside edge as well. So that's this one. Now it actually would be fairly easy just to die cut this aperture into your card and then just trim it off with a guillotine. But I found it was actually easier just to place the two of these together, die cut them and then you've got really really good guidelines where you need to cut this off just right around those uh, fold lines there and it doesn't it means you don't have to do any guesswork. Now I always like to emboss the folds into the curtains just a little bit better so I'm a wee bit lazy about that sometimes about getting my machine out and getting the embossing mat so I usually just set the die back onto the die, set the die cut back onto the die and then you can just feel there with your stylus or your embossing tool you can feel where that goes and run the stylus down there and there. Now that will give you a really really good emboss on there and you can just repeat that the whole way around so now I want to glue that directly on top there and then I've done exactly the same thing with another curtain and I'm going to put it in here and I've cut some acetate just to fit inside there and that will go on here. I'm going to add that on with tape and then I can glue that one over the top and because those are symmetrical you won't see any of the glue or any of where it's attached and your card will be beautiful from the outside and lovely and finished off from the inside as well. taken some beautiful glitter card that matches in with that and I have cut it to the same size as the front of the card but I've also added an extra centimeter or just a little bit on there that you can see that it can get folded over so it's the same width and then a little bit longer and I have trimmed it just slightly in so that the card will close over there and the reason for that is I'm only attaching it at the top because I want to see that beautiful glitter through the front of the card but I want to still be able to write inside the card and I'll be able to add my little ballerinas on here and you can flip that up and see what's written in the card and the card still stands up perfectly then. Now I've cut out three little ballerinas and three little dresses and I have trimmed off the, the feet area here so you can see I'll hold this one up and you can see where I've just curved around there and that gives little pointed feet and I've already gone ahead and glued the dresses onto these ones but I'm just going to show you I've embossed the dresses in exactly the same way as I embossed those curtains. I keep the dress inside the die cut and then I can feel just along where that area is. So where the area of detail is on the dress you can just 
feel along that with your embossing tool or your stylus and run along that while it's still in there and it gives you the detail it shows up it shows up really really clearly then and then I can go ahead and just glue that onto the little ballerina remembering just to put the glue down there and attach it on here and now I've just glued this ballerina into the center of the card and I made sure to put plenty of glue on because I'm gluing the back of that onto the front or the top of glitter card and glitter card takes a little bit of extra glue just to grab so that's the lovely little ballerina in there and then the other two have matching dresses and I'm going to glue them to at either side here so they're going to go just slightly offset down below there and on the other side there pink curtain and this time I wanted it the light pink and I have cut that exactly the same size and I'm going to glue that onto the panel here. Now if you are using a bigger card you could definitely go ahead and hang some of these from inside or wherever but I didn't I like this type of card this shape of card and I didn't want that to obstruct anywhere there but you could definitely go ahead and add some embellishments in as well but I really really love this curtain going over the top so we're just going to glue it on first. If you've seen the video where I make the music box itself you'll know that I have used a couple of the little dies out of the handbags and lipsticks die set because I absolutely love them. I love this one and the little tassel that goes along with it. So I have cut the tassel out twice. I'm actually going to cut another another two because I want to put it inside the card as well. But this is for the front and the little chain and I'm just going to nip a couple of little links off for each part here and then glue the tassel on top. And I'm going to do that on the inside and the outside. To decorate the little strip across the top and bottom then I've taken the little handle die. So this was the handle for the little drawer here and I have cut that out in the lovely glitter card again and I've glued three of them in a row down there and I'm going to glue two of them up here and then put the sentiment in. So I just space them out at the sides then and if you get it centrally on there there we are. And then I have taken the sentiment dies. So I've got the background one in ballet pink and I have cut out the dream in gold. And I've layered those up together and I've put them on some 3D foam pads and that is going to go just directly in there. And that's my little card finished. I think that would make a really really lovely card to go along with the music box if you were going to give that to someone as a present that would be a lovely card to go along with it and just as a little extra I have made a little bookmark as well because I always like to make one of those if I have some dies that would do it so I have taken this die and I've cut that out in the dark pink I have then used this one along with this one on white and glued that on top and then I've used some of this uh, 9mm sweet pink ribbon and I have put two tails of it in between and then I've put another little bit of the pink card on the back and that's the same ribbon that I have used to go with this so everything all ties together I've used all the same colours I've tied it in with the ribbon I've used the gold I've used everything is all matching and that would make a really lovely little collection so don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to do that, hit the notification bell and if you've enjoyed this video give me a big thumbs up 
and please leave me a little comment because that always helps me on my way. And don't forget if you haven't already checked out this video where I show how to make this one, go back and check that one as well because the, the um, link to that one will be down below and all my affiliate links to everything that I've used will be down below in the description as well and thank you to everybody who uses those, I really do appreciate that. Thank you very very much indeed and until next time, happy crafting, bye bye.